another video for you. Firstly, uh, Gobie on Voldia front. Who is in control of Gobie? Conflicting claims are being made by the two sides. We reported fighting near Voldia last night in the video. I said that the sound of gunfire was being heard in Voldia because a huge uh, uh, scale uh, armed escalation fighting was ongoing near Voldia. Uh, in Gobie and to the east of Voldia. Now, conflicting claims are being made, but uh, one video uh, has been shared by Tagarai fighters about Gobie. We have this clip for you. Secondly, viewers, uh, a few days ago, uh, more than a week ago, I did a video about a twin drone strikes on Gata Choreda's house in Makale. I remember that uh, uh, dozens of uh, viewers, they disagreed, they questioned my reporting. They said, uh, Sajid, you make up stories. It did not happen. Uh, now, we have uh, a piece of evidence for you, uh, which clearly proves that Gatacho's house was hit. How I got the information is another story. Of course, I cannot disclose my sources. But now other international journalists uh, are confirming after talking to Gata Chorida. Uh, thirdly, viewers, uh, Ethiopian government today issued uh, a strange statement, I would say. The statement is about humanitarian operations in Tigray. We know that Tigray accused uh, Ethiopian government of having carried out a drone strike on World Food Program trucks, one truck uh, near Zana, between Zana and uh, Shire. WFP said it wasn't a direct drone strike, it was a debris of a drone strike which hit its uh, truck. Now, Ethiopian government has released a statement which seems to be a warning for aid agencies. Does Ethiopian government want all aid agencies in Tigray to stop their operations? It seems we have uh, uh, details of this statement, very alarming statement, I think. Uh, firstly, viewers, uh, Gobie. One of the main places on uh, Voldia front, which changed hands uh, in recent days. We know that uh, TDF's advance into Volo was stopped near and in Gobi. TDF captured Kobo, then Kobo Robit, uh, Wacha and Gobi. It uh, managed to reach close to the areas uh, which are situated to the east of Voldia too. But mainly, front line was near Voldia. TDF could not capture Hera Gabi, which is on a far Voldia uh, road. And TDF has been trying to uh, lay siege to Voldia from a far side, from Kobo Robit side and from uh, Gashina side. And uh, for the last 24 to 48 hours, uh, heavy clashes have been ongoing on Gobia front and to the east of Voldia. Last night, I reported about sound of uh, fighting being heard, sound of gunfire being heard in Voldia. Now, uh, Ethiopian National Defense Force side, not officially, but their uh, news source is backed by them. They are claiming that uh, Gobie has come under ENDF control. ENDF and Amhara forces, they have retaken Gobie. That is being claimed by pro-Ethiopian government news sources. But we are waiting for visual confirmation. Is there ENDF uh, and Amhara force in Gobi? That remains to be seen. A few days ago, they claimed the same, but they could not share any evidence. And instead, we saw TDF in Gobi. Now, uh, 
A video is being shared by some pro Tigray news sources. We are not sure about when this video was recorded. TDF fighters can be seen in this video. They say that they are in control of Gobie, Kobo Koborobit. All claims are rumors. Uh, is this a new video uh, recorded today or was it recorded a uh, few days ago when there were rumors that TDF had lost Gobi? It's not clear, but uh, Tigray forces have shared evidence, piece of evidence that they are in control of Gobi and Kobo Kobo Robert. No major losses uh, on this front so far. Uh, though we did hear that uh, to the west of Kobo Kobo Robert, reportedly ENDF Amara forces, they have made some gains. How significant are the gains? That is another question. But they reportedly made some gains uh, and they were trying to make a move towards uh, Kobo Kobo Robert and uh, towards uh, Gobi as well. So things will be clear in coming hours if ENDF Amhara side share some evidence that they are in Gobi. So far, we have a video clip of Tegarai fighters who are saying that they are in control of Gobi and uh, the areas on this front, Kobo Kobo Robert. Watch this clip, then next news stories. <laughs> Secondly, viewers, more than a week ago, I did a video about twin drone strikes on Gata Chorada's house in Makale. It was Wednesday, I think, when it happened, uh, around 10 days ago. Uh, when I did a video on that, I remember that uh, several viewers, dozens of viewers questioned my reporting. They said, Sajid, you did not have any credible information. You were spreading rumors, fake information, irresponsible. Now, Gatacho's house, attack on Gatacho's house has been confirmed, not by my vision news, but by John Lee Anderson. John Lee Anderson is a journalist who wrote uh, an article for New Yorker, New Yorker website. John Lee Anderson traveled to Ethiopia as well. He remained in Ethiopia for some time. And he contacted Gatacho Rida a few days ago. In his talk with Gatacho, Gatacho confirmed that his house was hit in Makele after he made a call to someone uh, because after that call Gatacho's coordinates were tracked and his house was hit. He confirmed it was a precise strike and uh, he tweeted after the strike then came second strike. His uh, security staff members were killed, some of his neighbors were killed and he luckily survived. So that is what I reported more than a week ago. Now, please don't ask about sources. We cannot disclose sources. It's dangerous for them if we start disclosing their names, their whereabouts. But believe me, it takes hours of communication sometimes to get this sort of information which we shared with you, but it was rejected. It was criticized by dozens of viewers. It has been confirmed now by John Lee Anderson who contacted Geta Choreda and no denial from Geta Choreda so far. So, drone strikes, I'm saying, again saying, are against targets in Tigray. Tigrayans uh, get angry. They say, Sajid, you are endangering lives of civilians by saying that. I know what is happening. Uh, we get information somehow from the ground. Targets are being hit. The Gaia regional government will never admit it. Yes, while targets are being hit, civilians are dying too. Like, see, Gatacho survived, more than 10 were killed. Some neighbor, security staff uh, and uh, an ambulance driver as well. So, in the same way, uh, civilians are dying in these drone strikes in Tigray. No doubt about that. But we cannot say that these uh, strikes are targeting civilians. Strikes are against leadership of Tigray, TPLF and TDF leadership.
against those places where ammunition could be stored, where trainings could be underway and other uh, facilities. And we know that DWTV headquarter was also hit in Tigray. So, but we cannot deny civilian killing. We are not backing these drone strikes, but we should set the record straight. Uh, last viewers, uh, Ethiopian uh, government uh, just uh, an hour ago released a statement, alarming statement about uh, humanitarian uh, agencies' operations in Tigray. We know that yesterday Tigray claimed that uh, a truck of World Food Program was hit in a drone strike near Zana, between Zana and Shireb. WFP today said that uh, it was debris of a drone strike which hit the truck and uh, it was uh, slightly damaged, driver mildly injured. Ethiopian government in this statement asked uh, humanitarian aid organizations to refrain from working in those areas where Ethiopian government is taking preventive measures. Question is, uh, do we know where in Tigray Ethiopian government is going to hit? We don't know. So, uh, has the government uh, communicated the list of areas to the aid agencies where Ethiopian government is conducting uh, air strikes or it will conduct air strikes in Tigray? It means uh, Ethiopian government is hitting all across Tigray. Uh, through these drone strikes, eight strikes. It means Ethiopian government is telling aid agencies that they should stop all their operations in Tigray. That is what we can conclude. Because any area can be hit. In Makele, you saw that those areas, which are de-conflicted areas, their drone strikes are being conducted. It means that it is a threat from Ethiopian government uh, to aid organizations that uh, they uh, can be hit as well. Implicitly, indirectly, Ethiopian government is threatening aid organizations. And secondly, uh, the government says that aid organizations should ensure that aid reaches the people in need, that vehicles of aid agencies are not used by TPLF. And government says that TPLF is using vehicles, trucks of aid organizations. It has painted uh, private trucks with, uh, with WFP logos as well. So, Ethiopian government is justifying what happened uh, in terms of uh, debris of Don Stike, which hit uh, a WFP vehicle uh, yesterday in Tigray. Overall, all aid distribution operations in Tigray have been suspended. How can aid organizations work in Tigray if the government is saying they should refrain from operating in the areas where government is taking preventive measures? In the previous video, I spoke in detail about the plight of Tigray. And if this war goes on, you see that aid distribution will not be possible. Tigrayans, common civilian Tigrayans, women, children, elderly who are not competent, they'll suffer, they'll suffer more if this war goes on. Thank you for watching.